Hello, everybody. Are you sitting comfortably? Excellent. Then let me tell you a story. This one is called The Heist. Our story begins in a generic starting village of any good Dungeons and Dragons role-playing game. The party was made of a majority chaotic neutral alignment. So your average D&D party. Ah, ah. They had met a high elf noble who lived in a fancy ass tower in town, and with only talking to her for no more than ten minutes, they had deemed her a real bitch and decided the best course of action was to rob her important documents that the wizard's familiar had seen through her window. So later that day, over some mugs of ale and a glass of wine, they made their plans. I'll manage the coordination, spoke the wizard. I'll have my bat familiar fly around and use methods to relay information between us. I'll be on the ground. Keep an eye on things, proclaimed the warlock. And uh, for backup, when you inevitably make a mistake. Guess I'm doing the actual work then, eh? Sneered the rogue, downing his seventh pint of ale. Uh, what? exclaimed the fighter, who hadn't been paying attention. I'm going to bed. And so it was. The plan was set and everybody went for a good snooze. Then the time came. The rogue snuck up to the tower, a smirk on his face. The bat silently swooped through the night sky, and, like a wraith in the darkness, the warlock watched on. As the rogue entered the tower, his grin grew wider, for a plan had been made, and plans were not something he would follow. A line of bookshelves, a wall of knowledge. Some fun to be had. Thump, thump, thump the books went, as one by one they were knocked to the floor. What's going on in there? asked the wizard, but no reply was given, for the rogue was in his element. Candelabras of silver and gold being thrown into the sack. The curtains made of the finer silks being ripped off and added to the loot. Tables and chairs pushed where no tables and chairs should go. And after messing around for no good reason, the stairs were ascended. In an ornate bed fit for royalty, the elf lay in her trance. The rogue, while a rascal, knew that he had to be careful, despite the fact he had been notably not careful downstairs. He crept over to the lock chest right next to the bed. Out came his lockpicks and... Click! He opened the chest and looked upon his prize. And it was at this moment, my dear Lister, that everything started to go wrong. The wizard looking through the bat's eyes at the window, watched in horror as the elf began to stir. A boat! Get out of there! A boat! A boat! But the rogue was there for a reason, and he was going to take what he wanted. Stuffing papers and letters, everything he could grab as he ran for the stairs. The wizard, in panic, tried a distraction. The bat, at full speed, flew into the glass window. Thud it went, as the vision of the wizard was cut off. The bat had had only one hit point, which had been forcibly removed by the window. The rogue fled from the tower, as guards were drawn out, hearing the angry yells of the noble. The warlock, making a plan on the spot, summoned an unseen servant and threw a cloak over it. He told it to run. Hey, over there, he yelled, the guards giving chase. He's getting away. And as the servant darted towards the gate, the rogue hid himself away. The guards had their target. In an effort to both make it convincing and open the gate for his invisible ally, the warlock filed an eldritch beam, blasting the gate, and a faint ah! could be heard from the other side. The guards chased deep into the woods, not knowing the truth, and to keep up his ruse, 
the warlock followed. The rogue knew this was his chance. He crept out of the gate and peeked around. He saw a dead gate guard with a hole right through his chest. He took the body as he figured it would lead to questions and found a nice ditch in the woods. Perfect, he thought to himself as he tossed the body in and with nothing short of a genius deception placed a stick through the hole. It'll look like he fell, he grinned. Just a simple accident. It could happen to anyone. And so that, my dear listener, is how four completely unorganized fools successfully pulled off a heist. If you like this new thing that I've done, that's pretty cool. If you don't like it, you could go complain to Lenny underscore X. Hey, what? Because I do not care. What did he say about me? The video's over. It doesn't matter now. You can't take a look at all this stuff. Come on, I'm not a just for everything. I'm not a person. You can't take a look at all this stuff. Okay, I know where the same person, but I'll do what I want.